So in the series of learning C++ programming language, in the previous video we have discussed care AI type in C++. So now in this video we will see W care underscore T. This data type. This is for wide characters in C++. This is almost same as uh, care data type, which is used to, you know, uh, store those alphabet digits. You can say the letters or uh, special symbols, punctuation marks, and these things. This also used to store these things, but few differences are there. Right now, what are those differences? How this is different from CAD data type, and why we need this data type? If we have CAD data type, then why we need this wide character data type? Right? All these things we'll discuss in this video with the help of a program. I'll show you practical also. Right? Now, before that, just want to tell you one thing. Geeks for Geeks has come up with a hiring challenge called Jobathan, which would be on 21st of June, and the time is 8 p.m. to 10:30 p.m. And this contest is for the candidates who are looking for freshers or, you know, intern job opportunities. These six companies will be participating in this contest to fulfill their hiring requirements. So first you have to register for this contest. After registering for the contest, you have to go through the job descriptions given, right? And then you have to register for one or more companies that you are interested in. Your profile will be selected, will be considered for the company if you have registered for that thing. Now, what is the format? How many questions you will get? Total 18 questions you will get and the total marks would be 175 marks. Three coding questions would be there, right? Three DSA coding problems of 100 marks. And the language for these, to solve these coding problems are what? C++, Java and Python. Now, five MCQs for programming logic, five MCQs for quantitative aptitude and five MCQs for logical reasoning. These MCQs would be of 25 marks each. So total 175 marks would be there. And there is 5% penalty for each wrong submission. So better to first use that compile and test against the sample test cases before you actually submit your answer, right? And only individual participation is allowed. And interview shortlisting would be done for you know, specific companies based on their own criteria. So to find out more rules and regulations, you go to their contest page. The link would be in the description box of this video. You go and check out from there. So, and this event is what? It's a recurring event. It happens on 21st of every month, right? So you just mark your calendars and you keep track. So now all the relevant links and details I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see what is WCAR or you can say wide character data type in C++. See, same it is used to store the characters, wide characters. It is known as first of all wide character, wide characters, right? So the difference is what? Care take one byte, right? It take two bytes or four bytes sometimes. It depends on the compiler you are using. In my compiler on my machine, it is taking two bytes. I'll show you how to calculate size of this data type, right? You can check out on your own machine. Maybe it will take four bytes, right? So now see, care take only one byte means eight bits. So using care data type, we can represent only how many characters or you can say the things, how many characters or symbols, only 256, right? 0 to 255, like capital ABCD, small ABCD, some uh, 0 to 9 uh, numbers and some symbols, right? But see, and that it is used to represent what? This, we follow what the, the famous character encoding scheme is what SKI, we follow this thing. Right? But now in the world, there are many languages. It's not like that only these A, B, C, D and these symbols we have. So there are many languages in the world, right? Many characters are there, many symbols are there. Emoji you are using nowadays. Emoji is what? Also coded, right? It's just a sequence of some Unicode characters, one or more Unicode characters or numbers. Right? So, for storing those things, right, we cannot use this care data type because using this we can store only 256 values, right? That is why we use wide character data type. Same how to, what is the syntax? You have to write wcare underscore t, the name of the variable, suppose I am taking ch, but prefix which is used is L, first of all L, then in single quote you just write down a character. For simplicity purpose, I am just taking small a, right? 
for the small a we can represent this thing using care also but i'm just taking one simple simple example right when we'll uh, no write a program then i'll store a wide character or a character you can say from different language right now see this l is telling the compiler that it is wide character and it is going to take two bytes or maybe four bytes it depends on the compiler in my machine it is taking two bytes so this a now would be stored in two bytes memory right so mainly w care this a type is used when we deal with international languages like russian japanese these languages they have different different characters and many things many symbols to store those are we are not able to you know represent those symbols using care data type so now that is why if suppose it take two bytes so how many the range of this data type would be 0 2 you can say or you can say 6 5 5 i think 3 6 these many characters or symbols or anything you can say we can represent using wide care data type we can store using wide care data type and with the help of care we can represent only 256 values characters right so here we use sky table one more character encoding is what unicode unicode standard or you can say unicode table is there as you can see this is the unicode table in this table we have a unique number for each character or symbols or punctuation marks or emoji even for emojis we have unique characters right and it is still evolving the recent unicode uh, you know you can say version is what 14.0 and unicode 15.0 will be coming in september they are planning to release this version on uh, 15 uh, 13 september 2022 right and for this now what is this unicode it provide unique number unique code for each character right see many character encodings are there just you can google out and there will be a list of character encodings right the famous one is sky we generally use and they are limited right they are not suitable to represent all the languages from all over the world uh, from all over the world right so a new character coding would be introduced and some other limitations in you know previous character encodings are also they are conflicting with each other sometimes same number is used to represent two different different characters right or maybe the same character is having different different numbers and different different encoding schemes so generally any computer like especially the server have to support multiple encoding schemes and sometimes when we transfer data using these encoding schemes between different character encoding schemes like one computer is following this encoding scheme another computer is following another encoding scheme no character encoding so there would be a risk like the loss of data or you can say the data corruption you are sending some other data receiving some other data because of the different different platforms or different different uh, character encoding scheme but unicode provide a single character unique number right to every character irrespective of the platform the language irrespective of anything unique number it is going to provide right so the recent version they are going to release is 15.0 in which they have i think in unicode 14.0 version there are uh, i am not sure but these many characters are there some emojis many symbols are there and they have encoded like uh, almost 159 scripts script means uh, for example devnagari is a script or you can say lipi for hindi language devnagari is a lipi so like this many scripts are there for different different languages so they have encoded 159 scripts in this so in 15.0 they have added these many new characters uh, two new scripts they have added and 20 new emojis they have added right this number you have to check out like in 14.0 i think these many characters are there but you have to confirm you just confirm you just google it out right so this wide character can take these many values which correspond to the unicode table from unicode table right as you can see this is the unicode table here we have unicode number and uh, you can say the decimal also corresponding to that you can say the letter or the digit or the symbol 
like suppose for a we have decimal we have 65 and unicode encoding we have u plus 0041 right like this we have unicode you can say the number for each character in this table so i think the basic about this this data type is clear to you guys let me show you a practical let me show you a program right see we use this when we deal with international languages so frankly speaking you 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 have to use only care data type because you are not dealing with international languages when you are writing a program and all right but for this you know if this is a built in data type in c++ so you have some idea about this data type i guess you got the basic idea about this data type but there is many thing about this data type right in detail maybe we can discuss in a separate video this is just to give you an overview about wk data type and what is unicode and all these things right so see this is a file a program wkr_t.cpp there is nothing much in this we have just that header file namespace std and we have declared a variable defined a variable ch the data type of this is wkr_t and l in single quote i am writing this simple but first of all let me just write down only simple character a we are using right now second thing we are will just print c out ch the character but for dealing with this w char wide character because this now a is now would be considered as wide character so for printing this you c out is what for character output but we use w c out wide character output right because a is now a wide character and then we are just finding out the size of this w char underscore t data type that's it right now let me just save it and run it will simply print character is a and the size is 2 byte this is the difference a is the character but the size is it is taking in my machine 2 bytes in some machine maybe it can take 4 bytes it depends on the compiler you are using right but now see let's take another thing see see this is unicode table i'm referring this is the unicode table here we have decimal values we have so suppose this symbol i'm taking this g and i don't know what is the symbol let's just take this symbol control c and control just paste it because obviously from our keyboard we cannot write down we cannot print these kind of symbols we are limit you know we have limited resources the keyboard is you can say limited having limited numbers and alphabets and all so just copying pasting here and let's just save it and run now see what output you will get only it is printing two the size it is not printing this this symbol why so because this output this console is not compatible to print these kind of things international symbols in these languages limited things it can print but it has the num this this symbol has been stored for sure in the memory in two bytes of the memory right now if you want to print the decimal value of this symbol then just type cast this and write down int right now let me just run this and see it is printing 284 284 is the decimal you know uh, number for this symbol like for a the decimal is 65 for this decimal is 284 as you can see in the table this the c 280 and from above we have fourth column so 284 right or if you want to check the character encoding and you can the unicode encoding of the character then we have a character map you just search in the search bar character map this is inbuilt app and you can see you can select anything see and here you will see the unicode encoding u plus 00d6 right so for a for capital a let's see the unicode encoding is u plus 0041 and the decimal is what 65 so this is how you can use this wide character data type it's not for character it can be used to uh, store the string you no know, wide character string also right and as for simple string we have some predefined functions to find out string length like str len to can 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 get kya bol rahi hu to can catenate two strings so for wide character strings also wide strings also we have predefined functions 
those also we will discuss in later videos like what are those predefined functions the header file you have to include and how to use those functions but now this video is just to give you an overview about this wide character data type i hope this is clear to you guys now now you can you can from unicode table you just copy paste a symbol you can just store that symbol and see what it is printing the decimal value of that symbol and all right so in the next video we will see the remaining built in data type in c++ so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care